Hello everybody and this is our training on how to use this wheel. Now first of all it is not something that you, I don't know, there's there's things out there but this is this is not something that you kind of look at and go and line everything up and go oh okay well I'm supposed to be like this. It's not an answers tool, it is an illustration of something that I have in my mind. Um, I'm going to try my very, very best to explain it so that it's it's helpful for you. And again, please take what resonates and leave the rest. So you are going to get your copies. So you'll get a sheet with that on, a sheet with this one, and so on and so forth. I'm going to start with the first one. So the first one has our seasons on there. So spring, summer, autumn, winter. And I have just added spring equinox, for example, the months that that moves to, and then the cross-quarter festivals that they, they stretch from. So if we're in, we just move into spring, so February in bulk till Beltane, which is in May. And the spring equinox um, falls somewhere in between that, doesn't it, in April. Um, and really that one is just, um, you can use that in real time. Okay. So you're going to go, okay, it's April the 22nd. We're in spring. Oh, actually, I think that's April the 22nd. Is that actually the equinox? It's around that time anyway. Um, was it March? I think it's March. I can't think now. Um, you know, so you're going to be able to use this little circle in real time. Some of the other ones you're not, this one's real time. And of course this stretches over 12 months. Um, and it really is a starting point. So the essence of each season you'll be able to identify with. So spring is like this, summer is like this. And it's the, it's the cornerstone, really, of, of all the others because spring has this energy of renewal, rebirth. It has the essence of enthusiasm and possibilities. We also know that spring is filled with really soft beauty. So blossom trees, they're soft, they're delicate. If the winds come, all of their petals get blown everywhere. The daffodils are gentle and soft and don't like the frost and the cold. The bluebells only come when it's warm enough to and they really take their time blooming. Um, so each, I'm not going to go through every single one, but each season has its essence, has its energy. Okay, so seasons. Our second, our second one is the moon. So I've done the full, new, waning and waxing. And the full moon, a way to remember the energy and the essences of, of them all, the full moon is our summer energy. Okay, so the full moon lines up with the summer energy, the winter lines up with the dark or the new moon. Okay, and the other two then fall into their places, the waxing and the waning. And so the full moon carries the energy of summer that moving forward, it's the the powerful, shining the light um, kind of time, okay? So if you are into the moon, then um, you may want to delve deeper into that. But for this purpose, we're just kind of using the, the moon as an energy, okay? So again, you can use this in real time. The moon cycle is approximately 29 days, 28.5 or 29.5 days, and they change every six days. So if you wanna track the moon, get a, a lunar tracking app on your phone and you'll be able to know exactly what phase of the moon you're, we're in every single, or the moon is in every single day. Um, and then we come to this one, okay? And this cycle is the birth, life, death, and rebirth. And this will probably take a little bit longer to explain. So how we would line it up would be 
the new moon so the dark new moon would line up with rebirth the full moon would line up with life and if we were to put these guys on summer would line up with summer full moon life winter new moon rebirth okay and this is the one that is really new to the teachings that I share okay and I was doing a meditation where you do Sata Nama, Sata Nama, it's a Kundalini yoga -y type um, and it really came through to me, Sata Nama um, is representative of these four cycles and they are cycles that we see, they again line up perfectly with the energy of the seasons, the energy of the moon, but they also are synonymous with our life cycles. So if we just go in age, first of all, so we start off with birth. Well, we start off in the womb as as rebirth. So we're the it's the winter, okay? And the 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 rebirth is the void, the dark, passing through the birth canal, being in the womb. So it's the although it's although it's called rebirth, we haven't been born yet. It's the it's the period before birth. Um, so yeah, our, our 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 physical bodies in our mother's wombs, okay, and it's the void, it's the dark, okay, darkness, it's the nothingness space. Lots is happening, but we can't see it. We then move into the birth phase. So as children, we're born and we stay in our birth phase um, until we become life. So the birth phase would be um your childlike your ch your childhood okay we have a new phase of life or new beginnings renewed energy or purpose new ideas enthusiasm excitement um just think ch like just think children in their purest innocent form okay and then we have then we move into life we move into adulthood so say from 18 plus although we know that our brains aren't adult brains until we're in our 20s so that phase then we move into our life phase where we're living we're creating we're making we're doing we're living there's lots of action you know if you think about your life from your 20s up until this point lots has happened you know you've had children or not or you started new jobs or not you know there's there's life life's happened okay and then we move into the transformation and the death phase and death doesn't necessarily mean dying here but it's like the old falling away it's synonymous with autumn okay so the old falls away maybe it's a time for change for for women it would be the menopause um life shifts and life changes maybe some of you are close to to menopausal age maybe you're not at all we're not there yet um but if you know anybody who's gone or been or going through the menopause, you know that their lives change and things change and they change. And physically, as, as women, we go through this transformational period where everything falls away. Our ability to procreate falls away. And a lot of women struggle with that transition because we spend so much of our time, you know, mothering everything and and birthing projects and then we move into this time where we can't do that so transformation phase synonymous with autumn and then we come back to the the, the rebirth so our our death ultimately our, our later life um everything slows down and it, you know we move into later life and we know what happens when we move into later life so if we were to think about this, in, I'll give two practical examples because we can, again, apply it to life and we can apply it to something like spirituality. So I have two examples for you. The first one is, um, let's say we get a new job, okay? So we get a new job, which is the, the, the birth phase, yeah? It's a new project, a new beginning. You start a new job, you're energised, you're enthused, you're you have this new sense of purpose, you have so many ideas of how you're going to do this job and you, you're in that phase for however long. So this one this one can be measured by time but also it, 
it's not set in stone, okay? So you could be in a new job and feel that energy for a really long time, or you could be in a new job and feel that for a week, okay? You then would move into like the life phase. You know, you wouldn't be the new girl anymore at your new job. You'd be, you know, maybe have a little bit more responsibility and you'd be responsible for people. You'd be creating and managing projects. You would be living this job. You would be doing this job. And again, as a new job, that might last a year. It must, might last 20 years, you know? Um, so you'd be in that, that phase. And then you'd move into something would shift things shift because life does shift and you would move into a transformation phase where hmm this job I don't know if it feels the same anymore you know the team's changed I've changed the roles changed things just feel off I don't know if I'm meant to be here anymore um life doesn't feel doesn't feel as good as it did things are changing things are falling away and I'm trying to cling on to things and you know so we have that phase, yeah? If anyone's had a job where it feels like that, you're like, oh, this doesn't feel right. So you hand your notice in and you quit. And if you're anything like me, you don't have anything else lined up. <laughs> so you go into this rebirth phase. I don't know if anyone's been made redundant or decided to take a pause. You move into rebirth. And again, it's the pause. Like that, that even if it's just two weeks where you don't have a job or it could be two months where you don't have a job um it's it's like this period of oh shit what am I going to do what what what's going to happen um and especially if you're uh any anything like me this is really uncomfortable because it's like there's no purpose it's just nothingness and you have to be present and there's nothing to think about or stress you out um, it's the void, it's the dark, and you're oftentimes faced with in those periods, it's like an opportunity to reflect inwards and go, okay, so what's happening here? What am I going to do? And so, again, the rebirth phase could be a week, could be a year, okay? And then always what comes is the, the birth phase again. So, but when we're in the when we're in the rebirth phase, we don't know what's coming, and it can be quite scary. So, I'm hoping using that practical example, you'll be able to relate to that a little. I'm going to do spirituality next. <laughs> we always start with an awakening. We always start with with birth. We're we're just bumbling along in the death phase, but we think the death phase is fine. You know, we're just bumbling along as normal normal human beings, and then bam, something happens, and we move into this birth phase. We may have a spiritual awakening, for example. It's like, wow, this is new. I love this. This is amazing. This is mind blowing, and this this expansiveness. And I'm going to tell everybody about law of attraction, and I'm going to say my affirmations every day. You know, whatever it is, you know, you, you have this awakening, and it's like this new, fresh energy. And then we, after some time of that, again, that can last for years. It can last for days or weeks. You move into the life phase and you start applying this new knowledge into your life and everything's great. You start creating and start mothering new projects and living and acting. And then after that, again, set period of time, we move into the transformation phase where hmm, things don't quite feel right anymore. This doesn't feel OK. There might be a setback. Um, and everything that you thought was new then becomes old. And you start to move into this phase of feeling uncomfortable, not feeling aligned. And maybe, you know, maybe things shift for you in a different way, uh, but it doesn't feel quite right. And so, again, that brings the void. And spiritually, the void can be horrendous. I've had a couple of voids uh, over the last few years, especially 2019. I actually had a depression, which was a massive void for me. Uh, and it and it followed this cycle, you know, things fell off, and then all of a sudden I found myself in this dark hole, and it felt scary, scary as hell. Um, so spiritually, um, yeah. So and then and then of course we don't know it when we're in this phase, but of course the the birth comes again, and we're reborn, and and we start the cycle again, and it can be the same. We can use this the same 
you can apply it to self-development work, for example. Um, anything really. Any, I, I just think you can apply it to so many things. But they're the main, I don't want to ramble on, but they're the main topics. I hope that makes sense. And then, of course, we have our um, menstrual cycle. Okay? So, again, this is, this is obviously still in time because we live in a three-dimensional world where, which is ruled by time. But the actual time frames could, can be flexible and malleable. Oh, whereas the seasons and the moon and this one, they're not malleable. They are set usually. So if we were to line the phases of our cycle up with these guys, we have winter, new moon. We have rebirth. So we have winter, new moon, rebirth. So all death phases uh, or dark, darker phases. And that lines up with the menstruation. Okay. And so our day one menstruation. And I have left this kind of blank because I want you to be able to add your own things. So I've just put here, what is your signal? Obviously, it's going to be your bleed, isn't it, on this one. And I've left it, I've left all the days kind of clear. You may want to track your cycle for a little bit longer before you fill this in, but I've left it clear. So days, day one, two, when, how long does your bleed last for? And that's the number that you would write in there. So for me, it would be one to three is my menstruation. And then we move on to the follicular phase. The follicular phase is the, is the essence of spring, um, the waxing moon and the birth phase. So this is when we are our most exciting, our energy's returned, we're, and we're going to go into these phases um, a lot more in the calls, but this, the follicular phase carries the energy of spring. And then we move into, and birth, and then we move into ovulation. Again, I've put what's your signal and what days. So roughly how... Ovulation, I mean, ovula we know ovulation happens on a day, but our actual ovulation phase, so leading up to ovulation, we will carry this summer energy. I've just had mine and it lasted about five days, five to six days. Um, so I would I would expect something similar around about for, for other people as well. I had this particular energy that I knew was very distinctive and synonymous with summer and the full moon. And so that's the ovulation phase. Again, we're going to go deeper with these in the classes. And then we have the luteal phase, um, synonymous with autumn, falling away, our PMS. And for me, I know that happens on day 16. Yeah, so 16 to the rest, you know, 16 to 26, 10 days, I'm in my luteal phase. So it's a hugely important part of me personally and it's a lot longer of a phase than we, we come to come to realise and recognise. And so that brings me all the way round. I've done them all. And so really, I know, and it's really hard for me, I can't believe how hard it is for me actually to um, <laughs> explain this. Um, but I, I, I just see this as a way of, visually and understanding the cycles that are at play within us all the time and you could add uh, a separate ring with archetypal energies so the maiden is synonymous with spring and follicular phase the creatrix is synonymous with summer and ovulation the wild woman is synonymous with the luteal phase and, and autumn and the crone is synonymous with menstruation and new moon and winter so we could add another circle I might do that actually this and now I've got a um, compass I might do that um, <clears throat> but these energies exist 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 within ourselves so if, if for example I was like Right now, okay, I'll explain how I'm feeling right now. I am just, it's it's spring, right? I'm very aware it's spring, 
it's just come in block in bulk sorry and it's the, the very beginning of spring so I can feel that essence and energy outside when I'm in nature and I can also feel it um within me as well um the moon is waning I believe because we've just had a full moon so that is falling away that's autumn um I am in a very much birthing phase. So I am like Little Miss Spring. <laughs> so the, the na nature's energies actually are supporting me at the moment as I move into this new phase of my life. I've just made an investment. I'm just working with somebody new. Everything's new and exciting. I'm learning lots. And I have all these ideas and inspirations. In terms of my phase and just coming out of my ovulation phase my summer phase and moving into luteal so if I was to line everything up I would be around about here and that really doesn't mean anything except I can I can reference well I feel pretty good right now um because all this stuff's lining up okay uh, I'm aware that the moon is waning so things intentions may be falling away but at the same time, I'm birthing, I'm rebirthing, and I'm being supported by nature and my cycle. And I know through working with my cycle how I need to support myself best when I'm in all of these seasons. Um, so I know that in spring, that's usually when I change my diet. It's usually when I have a big shake up physically because it's the season and I start to eat colder foods. So I know how to support myself, my diet within within spring. Waning moon, I'm aware of that. I'm not really deeply into it, but I'm aware that we're going to be planting new seeds and intentions in a week's time with a new moon. I'm very aware that I'm in a birth phase of my own life right now and that I need to really protect my energy because I can run with this and run with this and run with this because I am so enthused and so excited and I know that because I'm moving into my luteal phase of my cycle, I need to be really conscious that I don't burn out because I will turn, my PMS will just turn itself up and I will be an evil cow and everything, and I'll be, you know, in a mess if I don't look after myself. And I know that my period will also be really horrendous again if I don't look after myself now. So I'm... Seeing this as something that you will use over time, please don't share it with anybody. I'm feeling like it's intellectual property and I don't want to, um, I want to share it with you as a tool that you can use in your own lives. Um, so please don't share it with anyone just at this moment. Um, I want to test it out really with you guys. Um, so please, I, I know that you'll respect that. Um, and yeah, just see it as a visual you know if you can intellectually and conceptually understand all of that you may not need this and just may think well it's a nice bit of paper it spins around yeah give it to the kids they can play with it or <clears throat> it might really help you because you need the the visual and the the movement and the tangible x you know the tangible object to be able to understand it so i said it'd be short <laughs> god i'm so sorry <laughs> 23 minutes um any questions please let me know anything that you need or want to chat through please also let me know and I will see you all in our spring class which is in two weeks today um see you in the whatsapp group as well love you lots take care bye